when did President Muhammad Buhari promise you that you would succeed him? Babajide queries as parents. Hello, my wonderful people. It has become the new order of the day. Um, you know, as parents are coming up, some are saying Buhari um, have endorsed them. Buhari has told them that they will succeed him. The likes of, you know, the very governor of Cross River State who said all he went to do was to speak to Buhari uh, about his, you know, administration. And Buhari told him that he should join the presidential race, promising that he would support him. Well, that same very guy as we speak, that very guy has gone out to buy, um, that very guy has gone out to buy, you know, sanitaria position, the governor of Cross River State, because he can see that things are quite different, he's not the same person. Well, uh, they're asking the aspirants, when did Buhari promise all of you that he will succeed him? The governors of, you know, the governors such as uh, that of River State, uh, uh, Boeing State, Cross River State, who joined APC thinking that Buhari will assist them here and there, you know, and that they will become president. These are the very people who, you know, this question is directed at. Let's get all the details. The AIC Nigerian journalist has looked at everything and has asked and is asking all the aspirants in APC. The rise of the number as it continues to expand each and every passing day. Nigerian journalist Babajide has, re has raised vital questions regarding presidential aspirants within the All Progressive Congress and their relationship with President Muhammad Buhari. Babajide recently questioned how well some of these aspirants know the president in their interview with TVC. Addressing the issue, Bajide said, why Bola Tinubu is making efforts by holding consultation across the country. Some presidential aspirants want to sit down in Abuja while claiming the president made promise to them. When did the prom president promise you that you would succeed him? When was that? You need to tell us the exact time. Bajide has questioned. You said the president promised you. If the president is to promise anybody, he should promise Tinubu, not just anybody. Tinubu, you see, is making consultation all across the country. Who are the witnesses to that very promise? They are behaving like they still do not know this man after seven years. Buhari is not that kind of straightforward person. You can just release a word and say this is what he said. He continued, I appreciate the minister of states for education for choosing to do what his colleagues are reluctant to do. He cited the conflict of interest in his resignation. He knew that he cannot retain the position at the same time as an aspirant and a minister. You are occupying bigger portfolios, are holding on and do not want to lose on both sides. Hence, they have refused to step down or or resign the resignation that they need to do so that they can concentrate some of them have refused to do it the benefit of the office at are tempting but the potential of becoming president is even more tempting so they've refused to obey and to abide by what the law and the rule really says well as it stands today many of them are standing on the position that buhari has promised them one thing or another but is that true when was this promise made and how was this promise related? Who was there? Tinubu is going around the country and making consultations. Why some of these people are just sitting lazy back saying the president has promised them? So this is the question, the big question right now in everybody's lips. When did Buhari promise you? Those who really want to be president are making efforts, doing all they possibly can to see to it that they are the ones who will get the presidential position. Why others are, you know, fighting against them and saying, uh, you, you can't be this, you can't be that. Someone like Tinubu is going around making consultation. That's Tinubu for you. Tinubu is going around making consultation, real consultations all across the country. He's make, going around making consultation and, you know, trying to get people to be on his side, trying to get people, you know, to stay with him. So these are some of the things going on right now. Some of the things happening. Well, my wonderful people, it is high time. It is time that um, we begin to reconsider some of the people who are coming up to say they want to become Nigerian's president. 
Are they very honest? Are they truth? Are they truthful? Truth, truthful? Are they tr is their truth tied to their belt? Or they are just coming up to, you know, tell us what they think we want to hear? You know, so these are some of the days upon us. And um, it is high time every one of us begin to reconsider and we look at our values. Our democracy is building. We can't stay there forever trying very hard, you know, to, 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 to make to make ends where, where this cannot really meet so we have to you know reconsider this thing we have to get you know a real position and stand up for what is right you know we need to we need to we need to rise up and defend ourselves and defend the course of truth as it stands today there is serious call for concern what is happening shows to every one of us that you know some people are, are going to look out for every way humanly speaking possible to ensure that you know they are the ones to get there and some are not ready to take the risk others are ready to give it all but what will he what will it be what will it be what will it be so this is what is you know this is what is happening right now this is what is going on and uh, everybody needs to begin to rise up and you know let's all rise up and quench this you know continuous harassment of you know politicians I say harassment, harassment in terms of them, you know, rising up and you know, keeping to the electoral promises. Very soon, as soon as we know the presidential aspirant for each political party, you'll be surprised. They'll be harassing us with campaign here and there. Some will begin to share rice, money and the rest. These things ought not to be so. If they really want Nigerians to want, want Nigerians to vote for them, we need to begin to shun all their evil occurrences and allow okay and allow the people the electorate to choose let the people choose let the people choose okay let the people choose let's let's make this difference let the people choose so at the end of the day we can have a better nation as it stands now we don't have anything really sincerely speaking called a nation we're trying to build it but it's so much founded on so much lies you know, so they're asking all the aspirants, when did Buhari vote for you? When did he give you the word that he's coming and that you will become the president? When was that? When, what time was that? So these are some of the things happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.